Good evening. What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Tuesday evening, July 6th, 2021, straight up 9 p.m. West Coast time. Latest quake on the globe is a 5.3 over around the, uh, looks like the India region. We'll go ahead and check out some specifics of the earthquake activity taking place over the last 24 hours or so. This here is the uh, uh, one day, 2.5 and above, actually 4.0 and above internationally, all magnitudes for the states and the territories there. 5.3 right there in the India region, it looks like. Or uh, Bangladesh areas up here. Not for sure uh, too much on this location here, but they do get some big earthquakes out there, that's for sure. Um, historical seismic activity shows that on the map right here, all over this region. Uh, quite a bit of uh, big quakes, including a much larger one there in the key. Looks like potentially a 6.0, 7.0 magnitude quake within the vicinity of where this 5.3 struck uh, a short time ago. Looking over here towards the east in the western part of the Pacific Plate. A little bit of movement in the Japan region. Some deeper earthquake activity showing up as well in this region uh, north north of uh, Japan here. Check out this. Uh, where's this one down here? 518 kilometers for this 4.0 south of Japan. It's a major deep movement. Major deep movement into this uh, subduction zone. Up here to the north, some deeper earthquake activity as well. 245 kilometers for one of them and 103 for the other. Uh, it's just some major deep movement, folks. We're getting a lot of uh, deep movement around the globe recently. And, of course, that could spell trouble um, at the surface, right? Obviously. 5.1 near the Solomon Islands at 54 kilometers. Earthquake activity along the Kermadec Trench and Fiji Islands area in New Zealand. Pretty quiet over the last 24 uh, looking here towards the North American continent, did have some movement up here in Montana. This is due north of where the 4.1 struck uh, yesterday. This 4.1, this 4.1 struck in Montana. Kind of right up against that uh, area where the North American craton is. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, 7 days, 2.5 and above. You can see that other one down in Wyoming. That was a 4.1 as well, 14 kilometers. This four, uh, this 4.1 about 10 kilometers in the Montana, but uh, still seeing some, uh, you know, some unusual earthquake activity in the region up here. But then again, kind of stretching up and pushing up against that North American Craton area, uh, we, where we uh, expect to see some seismic activity if we're pretty locked over here along the west coast. Oklahoma, getting in on some activity. Yeah, around Enid, Stillwater, Oklahoma City, southwest of Norman. Uh, nothing big, just a couple small microquakes out there in the fracking areas. Uh, movement up here in the Washington, Pacific Northwest, seeing a little seismic increase around, around Mount Rainier. Uh, just right around the summit and also to the southwest of there. We'll check out the uh, latest seismograph uh, recordings here in a little bit. I'm going to shoot down south here in the Northern California. Not a whole lot to talk about here. A little small quake, 17 kilometers uh, near Ferndale, 1.7. Uh, not a whole lot of movement in Northern California. Southern California looking calm as well. I uh, can't say completely calm. Uh, if that was the case, then I, I, man, we'd be in trouble, I think. There's always microquake activity taking place uh, anywhere down here in Southern California. And most of the time along the secondary fault systems to the uh, San Andreas Fault, such as the San Jacinto Fault area, runs pretty uh, lengthy through Southern California. Always a whole bunch of microquakes taking place there. Salt and sea, uh, no swarms to speak of down there at the moment. And as we make our way up here to Idaho, things on the increase around the Sawtooth Fault area once again. Uh, 2.6, the largest quake in that cluster. Some movement taking place in the Yellowstone National Park area. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, let's refresh this just to make sure we got the latest. There's that 4.1 that kicked off there in Montana early this morning. You can see that showing up. 
on quite a few seismograph stations around the Yellowstone area. Uh, far as specific seismic activity in Yellowstone, looks kind of quiet. Looks like we may be dying down a little, a little bit. Some movement prior to that 4.1. You can see some microquake activity. 4.1 kicks off and then things calm down a little bit. Uh, looks as though within the last hour things may be kind of picking up there. Seeing a little bit of a seismic increase there towards the last hour. Um, I did see that also show up on the uh, seismograph station there on the uh, live stream. You can see it a little bit better over here towards the west boundary. See these earthquakes right here? Showing, showing up a little bit better. That's obviously earthquake activity if we're seeing that uh, show up on um, other stations here around the region. Uh, but other than that, no major earthquake activity, volcanic activity to speak of there at Yellowstone National Park. The trimmer map into the Pacific Northwest shows us that there is no trimmer. Zero. Let's go ahead and check out the volcanic seismicity at Mount, Mount Rainier real quick. Uh, um, 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 um. Not a whole lot. At least listed on here. There's not a whole lot. Um, we got to check out some of these seismograph stations here and see what they have been recording for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see those right there. Pretty localized uh, over the last uh, hour or so. The uh, last 24 hours. Not a whole lot more, but you can see some of these well distinct signatures of an earthquake localized there at Mount Rainier. Um, other stuff, just interference or distant quakes, uh, but looks typical for um, for a volcano. Just some uh, tectonic action taking place there uh, up in Washington. All right, what else we got here, folks? Uh, I think I'm going to call it night. I'm pretty tired. Not a whole lot going on. Um, South America region getting some further deep movement into the Peru Chile Trench. 4.2s kicking off way down there 110 158 kilometers so just a lot of movement folks we're seeing the deeper move movement over here to the west of course ultimately putting some pressure out here along the uh, well west of Japan area in the India area kind of kind of see that's kind of how it goes when we see the deeper movement here in this region a little bit of transfer of pressure uh, gradients over there to the west what does that mean here for the uh, North American continent? I, I don't know, maybe a little break. And on the maps, it looks like, uh, you know, looks like, they, like we are having a little break. Not a whole lot of seismic activity along the West Coast at the moment. Um, so stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Um, Hawaii, following that five-pointer yesterday, just looks like a little aftershock um, in that same location where that uh, 5.1 struck. There's the 5.5.2. Sorry, in the uh, Hawaii area. So today, just a little, little quake next to it. I should say uh, northeast of it, 1.8. Um, overall, though, uh, seeing a little heightened earthquake activity near the Kilauea Rim, Kilauea Volcano area. You can see this swarm of li line of activity uh, stretching towards the Kilauea Crater. Uh, be paying attention to that region. Pretty shallow activity as well, but just a bunch of microquakes uh, taking place. This is about the only activity I can see that's on the uptick at the moment. This here is typical and average uh, for uh, 33, 35 kilometers or so below the surface. Uh, we just see this all too often here in this region. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a great night. Stay safe out there. Um, just kind of hanging in there hanging out you know just been a, a fun hot day uh, uh, just not good not not good far as weather wise go you know they they say weather affects moods right weather changes moods well when it's over 100 degrees all the time it's it's definitely affecting my mood i uh, uh I, i'm not looking forward to this weekend either it's supposed to be above 110 for uh, about three or four days in my area of California. So my mood right now is not very good. <laughs> Have a good night, folks. We'll chat you a little bit later. Stay safe and, uh, you know, be nice to one another. 
and just uh, you know be prepared out there. We're living in some interesting times. Have a good night, everyone.